20 years. The Armstrong family donated it to be the university, but that university moved to the south side. In real life, this is where Jim Williams' lawyer's offices were. It was featured in the movie. Sonny yeah. Seiler was one of his lawyers, the owner of the UGA UGA Bulldog. In 1974, The Longest Yard was filmed right here. Bruce Reynolds had a police chase scene up and around the fountain. It actually is really cool around that fountain. It cools off the air around you. Free fun at Forsyth Park. Have y'all heard yet that the Spanish moss isn't even Spanish or a moss? It probably came on the Spanish ships and it reminded the French explorers of the conquistador's beard, so that name stuck. But technically, Spanish moss is a cousin to the pineapple. It's a tropical flowering plant, gets its nutrients from the humidity in the atmosphere, but when it hits the ground, there'll be a chicken pot that'll get in it. You don't want to touch it off the ground. They say boil it and lay it in the sun. That's actually why Savannah had the first Ford recall. Henry Ford stuffed the seat cushions of the Model T's with the Spanish boss. <laughs> he had to recall the Fords in Savannah to work the bugs out. The Ford plantation isn't too far from here, but it's on private property with armed guards at the gates. Oprah owns some of that and contractors have a hard time getting it. So people get disappointed when they go look to go have a tour up in the Ford Plantation. It's not open. But there are historical cars. You'll see a Model T in the Prohibition Museum. This was a private residence for 50 years. Built in 1870. It was the first CBS radio station, 1949. Now it's Scouts Communication Department. Behind it, white oleander. Don't touch it, you'll get a rash. Eat a handful, you'll have a heart attack. Mm. Oleander is so toxic, bees don't even pollinate it. We would have poisonous honey. During the Civil War, there was a small group of Savannah women who declared they never surrendered. They made a big old batch of oleander tea and passed it out to Sherman soldiers. <laughs> they put so much sugar in that tea to hide the bitterness of the poison that's actually where Southern Sweet Tea came from. <laughs> Sherman put every woman on house arrest. All the nuns had been stuck in the church and the, the nurses were stuck in the house. A lot of these Queen Anne revival homes were once oh, funeral parlors, hence yeah. the door to nowhere on the second floor. That's the old Candler Hospital. Very overflow, busy, busy, busy during the uh, yellow fever epidemics. So we are at our Forsyth stop, is stop four. Stop four, four side bar. Free fun at four side, stop four. <laughs> That's a restaurant now. It's not a funeral parlor anymore. It's a private residence. I don't know how I feel about the mirrors on the porch because oh they can use the birds. one confederate yeah. monument honoring the confederate dead the women of savannah fundraised ten thousand dollars just after the civil war to get that constructed that would be like two hundred thousand dollars in today's money savannah is a great wedding destination so during yellow fever they didn't know it came from a mosquito so they treat it like it was communicable by leading the deceased under the roaded tunnels to a mass grave over there. They thought that would contain the disease. This is the old Candler Hospital. Very busy during yellow fever times. There are relatively new dormitories for SCAD behind it. Their mascot is the honeybee. So it's cute that the old tree here is a honeybee tree. There's bees living all inside of it. This tree's at least 350 years old. It has its own historical marker. The resurrection fern looks dead, hanging there on the branches, but as soon as it rains, it's gonna perk up and look like the most lush fern we've ever seen. Resurrection fern. I have the urge to climb it, but I'm sure I'll get arrested. So <laughs> I avoid the urge. Same with the ghost hunting. Like people get trespassing charges for ghost hunting around here a lot. 
So the second ship that came to Savannah, the Jews, they are congregation Mikvah Israel. We're, we're behind their synagogue. Their synagogue was built like a Gothic church, but instead of a cross, there's a Star of David. Upstairs is a museum. This is Mikvah Israel. Upstairs, they have, upstairs, the two oldest copies of the Torah in North America. The first five books of Moses written in Hebrew on deer skin. It's amazing, Mikvah Israel. And then this is the Wesley Memorial Methodist Church. It's not the oldest Methodist church, but it's one of the oldest. It's the tallest, it's 196 feet tall with the steeple. But John Wesley was personally invited to come to Savannah by Oglethorpe to be the minister of the colony. He brought his little brother Charles with him. Charles Wesley, once he got to Savannah, he wrote Hark the Herald Angels Sing here. A hundred years later, Jingle Bells was written in Savannah too. It's kind of strange. So we're pulling up to stop number five here, the old Massey School. This is the oldest public school in Georgia. It was built for the poor. It was integrated before that was even a thing. It's a museum. So John Wesley had a little personal problem in Savannah. It was a lady. It was his girlfriend, but he would never propose to her, so she gave up. She broke up with him, and then she got married to another man two months later. So John Wesley denied the pair communion in church. Oh. So he was charged with defamation. So Savannah was trying to usher him on out of here on the ship back to England with another group of people was trying to shoot out of here. See, the, the pious Moravians were in the Caribbean ministering to slaves in 1732. They came to Savannah, and that's the first thing they did, start administering to slaves, fighting for their rights. So... Of course, the, the owners in South Carolina were trying to get rid of them. So they went back to England on a ship that went through a hurricane. That's a great view of that church. John Wesley was terrified. He did not want to die that day. The Moravians started singing and dancing and praising the Lord. They were ready to meet their Lord that day. So that influenced Methodism. John Wesley wrote all about his way home from Savannah. There's Clary's. This is actually where Jim Williams would meet his lawyers to discuss his murder case. So it's featured in the movie and the book, Midnight, the Garden of Good and Evil. Jones Street, great residential, beautiful street. They used to have English ivy on the bricks, but it was busting up the bricks. They replaced it with creeping fig. It will fruit too, like three inch long fruits, if it's well watered. That's the national headquarters. The carriage house behind the house with the green shutters on the corner, that's the old Andrew Lowe home. The carriage house behind it is the first Girl Scout headquarters of America. So Juliet Gordon married William Lowe, got that house from his father, Andrew. He passed away, like, right after the Girl Scouts got started. She didn't have any kids. She only had 18 Girl Scouts to keep her company, and they were from Israel. The first 18 Girl Scouts of America were Jewish. This house here was the inspiration for the haunted Disney mansion. It was even a hotel back in the 1950s, so Walt Disney stayed here. He was checking out Tybee Island to see if he could put a theme park there. Glad that didn't work out, but that was also the first house to get electricity, 1886 in Savannah. This was a convent. The nuns around here were from uh, Ireland. The priests were from France. So this is a French square, Lafayette, named after the Frenchman, the aide de camp to George Washington, the Marquis de Lafayette. And that is not a hotel, that's condos. You can actually live there. So they're having private events, obviously, here. If there's a red sign blocking the door, they're having some kind of function. Otherwise, you can walk right in. Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. All that stained glass comes from Austria. It's beautiful in there. My favorite, though, is... This little depiction on the wall, Jesus' baptism. I just love St. John the Baptist. Fabulous camel fur coat. Anybody planning on hopping off at stop six?